welcome back to Let's Play Spyro, Year of the Dragon Reignited. I'm Burning Dog Face, and last time we conquered the challenge of Honey Speedway, and then stumbled across, uh... Well, we stumbled across the, uh, the floor that needed stomping, for lack of a better term. Rescued Buddy. Before I jump in there, shout out to Elthwar, who wanted to congratulate me on defeating the Sorceress and freeing the Forgotten Realms, and also added, So, Spyro is not one for love, I gu I'd guess, because he is still a kid. Maybe that'll change when he grows up, or maybe he'll never be interested in romance. Still, it does kind of feel like a cooties attitude right now. <laughs> That's a good way of summing it up. I think the hovercraft fight seems a bit awkward, since that might just be the first time Spyro's ridden one, depending on the gameplay route, I guess. But I can excuse some of the weird controls, since I don't think they're designed to be airdropped like that. That was a weird fight. Uh, Elthwar also appreciates that they explained how the Professor ended up in the Forgotten Realms. Although there is the point that a 1,000-year-old book would be more expensive, not less, than a more recent copy. Huh. Well, we've got some boobies to race, and some puns not to make. Oh, it didn't count them. There wasn't enough time. <laughs> laws and Drapper say. Get through it. And don't wait to get started. Sounds a good device. Look, they're blue, yes, but it's not the bl feathers that are supposed to be blue in this species. It says so right in the name. You know, I appreciate that um, he explains how the, sp the races work in every instance because, you know, you can take them in any order. But I appreciate it's not the same lines every time. Ah! This is terrible. That was a bad call. No. Yeah, that's not a good call right there. I almost missed that one. Yeah! Get back here, you fuck! He's actually pulling away. I don't like that. Damn. Yeah, that's the one to, to go to. Damn, how to use it on that guy? What else I do use? Oh. Okay, yeah, that is a good spot. Whoa! I don't like the way the tar is turning becomes sharper every time. Oh. Well, I wasn't doing very well in that run anyway. That's the loop-de-loop. -loop. And that's the one that turns around. Okay. I just hadn't been doing any of that in this one. Huh. 
weird how the, uh... The what do you call it? The, uh... The supercharge jumping was such a big mechanic in the first one. And I don't know that they ever actually required me to do it in this game. Oops. Um. Well, that was terrible. Stop me fucking dead. No, he still drops. And I don't know why. Normally, he's supposed to keep going with his current level of momentum. Damn. I wanted to get a cheeky missile off there, see if I could catch up, but no, no, it's just too much twisting going on. Probably could have gotten that. No, that was the same one, wasn't it? Yes, yes, yes. Wasn't over there yet. You know, it finally occurred to me after I uh, did the credits episode that uh, the development team were throwing up the uh, the metal horns because of Spyro's head. Whoa! I just keep seeing the stars and it's too late to go for them, and that's not optimal. Apologies, I didn't realize uh, going through the ring didn't count as going through the ring. I hadn't even reached it yet, I think. Uh, okay, fine. That's, that's too uh, sharp an angle. What the hell was that? <laughs> the camera pointing in the exact wrong direction? Well, no, uh, I guess behind me would be exactly the wrong direction. Specifically, I was in, uh, I was in my, uh, garage, and I was thinking about how, uh, oh, right, this bit. Ah. Uh, I was thinking about how, uh, when I started Spyro 2, I actually kind of floundered a bit in the tutorial, because it had been a while, you know, having not played Spyro since before Control. Uh, but when I started Spyro 3, I feel like I did much better, because I had more recently played Spyro. So having conquered all three games, I'm sitting here wondering to myself if uh, it would be easier for me to do the treetops uh, level from the original game now. And that's when it occurred to me that there weren't any levels really like that in this one. Unless I'm, like, completely out to lunch today and I just forgot one. But all of the... Oh. All of the uh, bits I could think of with the supercharge. Wow, that really sent me flying. You know, all the bits I could think of from this game that used supercharge, damn it, were uh, just chasing egg thieves. Man, I can barely break fifth against these guys.
Suck it, bird! How dare you evolve out of us? Those so dinosaurs, my bad. <laughs> oh! Ah, too. I remembered that too late. Purely out, purely out of curiosity. Huh. I feel like this has more of a beat to it. Back here, you fuck! I recovered that pretty well. I did forget the one directly beneath me. Ah, hell. Oh my god, this level! Wait a minute, this was the one where the uh, the boss cutscene failed to play, so two of the boss fights in this game were glitched. Ouch! The one for, uh... Scorch, yes. Or not Scorch, uh, the one before Scorch. Spike! Spike. Uh, just didn't have a, uh... Well, it didn't have a cutscene on it. The cutscene about, uh, the sorceress... You know, yelling at Bianca for not killing them. That's, uh, just not in the original. Oh, it worked somehow! Oof. Damn, these guys are good. Serious question, is it possible to beat these guys without getting every single fucking star? I can never get that one. See, this is old-fashioned frustrating. This is just frustrating because I can't do the thing. I'm not frustrated because I'm already pissed off to start with. That's nice. Oh, I just fucking whiffed that one. Airball. I find it weird that if you watch the background on the You Crashed screen, you can actually see the other racers still moving.
Whoa! I don't think that was normally... Oh, well, I, yeah. I touched the water anyway, so... It does occur to me to wonder where in fuck I'm gonna find Hunter. Because I have flown straight through the... Not the only building. Maybe the lighthouse that looks like the entrance to the zone. Oh! Man. I'm gonna be really, really unhappy if I make it all the way to like 99% or 98% or whatever, and I can't get. Oh, let's say this the skateboarding challenge at Enchanted Towers, and uh, just for funsies, Bentley's Whack a Mole thing. I feel like with that particular challenge, you either have to pick targets that instant fail you if you hit them, in that case the gnomes, or... Oh. Now you either have to pick, uh, you know, the right targets. Or you give it a really tight time limit to get all the things. But not both. Both is madness. been perfect! Oh no, in one minute. I'm just complaining because I'm in a, as I said, like oh, 10 million times, I'm not in a great mood today. It is improving. Although, let me fucking tell you, if this was one of those levels where they tease you for not getting it after you fail, oh boy. On a related note, I noticed when I was going through the, uh, the achievements the other day that they put a specific achievement on completing the trolley thing from uh, Ripto's Rage called Trouble No More. They know. <laughs> they know. Suck exhaust! No, the timer! Two things there, the missile and the, uh... That's silly. And don't get me wrong, I'm sure you can get every fucking star on the level if you're, you know, some speedrunner who knows the controls so well he can beat the race if his eyes closed. How the hell do I get that thing without going so far off course that, uh, it doesn't matter? Whoa! I have no idea what just happened, but I sure didn't enjoy it very much. No! Oh, 
damn it. One more. One more. I mean, if I was coming at it from that sharp angle over there, but I don't know how you do that with the positioning of the rings. Whoa! Random thought, but, uh... Given that there's been a couple of, uh... Crash Bandicoot kart racers... And that even fucking Jack and Daxter got a kart racer when they were, uh, finished with the story. I'm kind of surprised they never made a racing game out of this. You know, Spyro and a bunch of other winged characters flying through a course. It is rude to pass without permission. Wait, no, I just did that twice. Never mind! In my defense, they never said you couldn't breathe fire on anyone else. Oh, shite, I stopped all my momentum. Ah, damn it. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Spyro, Year of the Dragon Reignited. When we, uh, get back to the tasks we need to complete. And rock some face, I guess. Wish me luck, Burning Dog fans. Later!